So I say all of this because when you are getting a no, that's not a stop sign. That could be a redirection. So if you go to a bank and they turn you down, that does not mean that you are not a valuable asset. It doesn't mean that you're not worthy of home ownership. It just means that you either need to readjust what you're doing or come up with the alternative way to get what you need to get done. So if you're looking to buy a house, maybe you need a co-signer. If you're looking to invest in real estate and you can't do it by yourself, maybe you need a partner. Maybe you need to joint venture with someone. If you're looking to build or develop and you don't have enough, um, you don't have, you don't qualify with the bank. Maybe you need to tap into your bank account and pull some of that cash out. Or maybe you need to go into your home and pull some of that equity out. Or maybe you need to tap into other sources in order to get the difference in the balance. It's never a stop sign when people are telling you no. It's a reason. There's a lesson in everything, right? So all I'm saying is that <laughs> take the time to try to study what that information is presenting to you versus just stalling yourself out. I want to see everybody freaking win. That's why I'm here giving out money to people. I am loaning money to individuals who actually need it. All you have to do is come and get it. So at the end of the day, I just wanted to come on and talk about Bankable and I hope that it uh, touched somebody. All right, bye.